I'm going to attempt to set a new Guinness Book of World Records for solving Rubik's Cube. Alex is a, is a uh, master at Rubik's Cube also. How many minutes would you give me to line up all the colors on a Rubik's Cube? I will give you no minutes, but I'll give you some seconds. Okay, how many seconds? Two. Two seconds? Mm -hmm. Okay, that is not enough time for me to peel off the stickers that I need to peel off. But I like you, so it's going to be a challenge. Say on your marks, get set, go. On your marks, get set, go. Done! That is a new Guinness Book of World Records. Now, here's a math and magic trick. And by the way, there's a lot of math involved in Rubik's Cube. In fact, the number of patterns on a 3x3 three three Rubik's Cube is 64 million, million, million. It's a huge number. But this is not going to use nearly that much math. Alex, we're going to make a totally random number, and you're going to make it. I want you to just start naming random numbers, and I'm going to write down the numbers as you say them. 9, 2, 4, 8, 3, Seven. Okay, so 738,429. That's a really big number. And I'm also going to make a prediction on this piece of paper. I want it to be a kind of a surprise from you. So I want both of you to close your eyes for a second while I make a prediction. It's dark, isn't it? Okay, you can open your eyes. So this is my prediction, and Alex, you can hold on to that. Maddie, you're going to make a totally different number than Alex's, so just start naming random digits. Five, three, nine, four, three, seven. Okay, 734,935. <laughs> kind of not too far, actually, pretty close to yours. Now, I'm going to make my own random number. Let's go four, six, zero, five, six. Oh. Maybe two. So my number is 265,064. Not nearly as big as yours. Now that we have three seemingly random digits, because you didn't know what number you were going to pick before I asked you. You didn't know what number you were going to pick. Mine was also random. We're going to add all these three up in a column. So help uh, verify my math. Five plus four is nine. Nine plus nine 18. is 18. Here's the one. That's three plus three more is six plus another 11. six is 12, I think. 4 plus 1 is 5. 5 plus 9, 14. Okay. 8 plus 1 is 9. And then 5 plus 4 is 9, so 9 plus 9. 18. 18. Here's the 1. Uh, 3 and 3, that's a 6. Plus 6 more is 12. 13. That's the 13. And it's 8 plus 16. 7, 15, 16, 17, I think. Let's put in our commas. Wow, huge number. This is the result. 1,738,428. Wow, big number. Oh, oh, I also made a prediction. Before, before you even chose your number, before I wrote down my number, I, wrote, I gave you a number. I want mm -hmm. you to open up that yellow piece of paper and see what I wrote. Check it out. Our grand total, 1,738,428. Four hundred and twenty-eight. That is an exact match. Is it coincidence or is it magic? Well, the cool thing is I'm going to explain exactly how it's done. It's all based on math, and here's the secret. When your friend, Alex, when you gave me your number, this number right here, I make my prediction. And what I did was I added a 1 in front of your number. So here's the 1. And then I copy all of your digits. 738, 738. 4, 2, 4, 2, and then I subtract 1 from the last number, not last number, so the 9 becomes an 8. And then, so that's my prediction, I want you to look at these two columns of numbers. 5 plus 4 is? 9. nine. 3 plus 6? 9. 9 plus 0? 9. 9. 9. 9, 9, 9. So basically, you're adding 9, 9, 9, 9, 9 to whatever the first number is. And mathematically, when you do that, it's automatically going to put a 1 in front and then s reduce the last digit by 1. And that's how you get the result. It's very simple. Practice it a couple times before you amaze your friends. Just remember, when you make your prediction, your friend has to give you one number first. You put a 1 in front of it, subtract 1 from the last digit. That's your prediction. And then whatever number you add as your third number has to make this column always equal 9. Mathematic.